Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So a few days ago I was watching I was watching clips of a, one of my favourite films and the film is called A Taste of Honey and it's filmed around Salford and it shows some really really old parts of Salford parts of Salford that have long since gone and I remember watching it and thinking how Lowry-esque the sort of scenery was around um, where they were filming it and everything and then that got me thinking about Lowry and thinking I wonder if any of the places that he painted still exist or are still around and I got an idea for a video but let me digress growing up in North Manchester I kind of got an early introduction to Lowry because for one I grew up in this kind of landscape Cotton mills, cotton mills everywhere and then here is the Rochdale Canal. So couple this landscape with also being of a certain age and in about 1978 when I was very young there was a certain song came out in the charts called Matchstock Men and Matchstock Cats and Dogs and that song was about the paintings of Lowry so you got this not only did I live in the environment, I got this song when I was about 11 or 12 years old that hit the top of the charts and everyone was singing. Anyway, a line in that song is, Now Lowry's hang upon the wall beside the greatest of them all. And it got me thinking, let me just turn around. It got me thinking, because I started to look at what some of the Lowry's had sold for in the past. And you're talking like, some of them are... 370 odd thousand pound, 700 and odd thousand pound um, names like Sotheby's and Bonhams and big art houses, art dealers and art, art auction houses in London and it got me thinking that the people that buy these paintings, these Lowry's, I wonder if they know where they were painted and I wonder if they've got any connection with where they were painted, well some of them might have but when the paintings change in hands for hundreds of thousands of pounds in New York or in London, you just think, hmm, do these people know where these things were painted? So it got me thinking, these places that Lowry painted, do any of these places still exist? Can we go and find some of these places? Go and find the original sort of like setting for the painting. Well, it's difficult because a lot of Lowry's um, work was composite. So he would take um, a road in Salford, combine that with a mill from um, Chadderton and put a row of shops on the left hand side from Colliest. So it was a lot of the paintings came out of his head and they were just compositions of places he'd seen. But anyway, I've done a little bit of research and I think I've found three Lowry's. Two of them are definite Lowry's. One of them is maybe a bit dodgy but I think it's definitely a Lowry. So let's go and see if we can find a few original Lowry's. Now this is the 24 steps in Middleton in North Manchester and Lowry painted this in 1960. He was invited to Middleton by local journalist Bob Smithies who used to present on um, local TV. Um, anyway, he was invited to Middleton in 1960 and Lowry decided that this was the best scene that he'd seen so far. He liked the steps and he liked that it was a chapel at the top of the steps. Uh, when I was a kid, that was a factory, but in, in those days it was a chapel. And he felt that the the chapel really should be dominating the scene, but it was actually the steps that dominated the scene. Anyway, his words were, yes, this is the best so far. I'll paint this. And he painted the 24 steps in 1960. OK, so we are actually standing right in the middle of a Lowry now. This is 24 steps. So there we are, an original Lowry. The only thing that's missing is the chapel at the top of the steps. Uh, but indeed, there are four sets of six steps, making 24 steps. And I have counted them because I, I don't live very far from here and I've always known this all my life. And that's what it was like a few years ago before the chapel got pulled down. Now there's a Lowry called a footbridge. And it was a, I think it was a pencil sketch, but I'll show you now. And I think tucked away here 
off the beaten track in Manchester I have found a footbridge <clears throat> not a very well trodden part of Manchester anyway this way up this way and this is why I think it's the place because if you look at this look at the way the wall juts out there it's raining so it's not very good here the wall that juts out so I think I found it I think this is the place of a footbridge what do you think comment down below see for a footbridge I think it's quite unique this thing here this bit here and the steps that come up and then the way it stops here and then it goes wider there so I don't know but I think we've found our footbridge now Larry did uh, paint a footbridge or sketch a footbridge in Droylesden but it was different it was a more of a standard footbridge footbridge it was very different to this one so I don't think it's the Droylesden footbridge now just from as a matter of interest the picture of a footbridge was sold in 1942 for an absolutely paltry sum I don't know how much but it was sold for a paltry sum to a Dame Mabel tile coat um, and that's what Larry said he said even though his paintings are now exchanging hands for like hundreds of thousands of pounds he said that he said when he was alive that he probably sold it years and years earlier for a hundred pound and made an absolute minimal off it and it was now the dealers that were making money from his uh, paintings St Michael's Place St Michael's Place in Angel Meadow and I show you that because in Angel Meadow it was a really poor area and um, I'm probably going back pre Lowry now but there was, all, there was all the there was all sort of like little squares and courtyards of houses and they were called this place and that place but looks like one of them survives because we're going to go and look at another Lowry setting Lowry painting and this one's called Irk Place um, and I'll show you I'll show you a picture of it in a moment Okay, so there, on that top of that, the brow of this hill here, was a church. Note the wall. Note the wall there. This is a burial ground, but we'll come to that in a minute. And I think just down here, so we're going to go and look at what I think is the setting for Irk Place. It's just down there. Now, apparently, Laura used to collect rents around here. So we've got a factory now and we've got a car park and probably one of the original buildings. So there's nothing here now, but if I just go down these stairs here and I'll just turn the camera around. Look at that view. In fact, let me go further down the steps. Okay, so look at that view. I think this is Irk Place. Okay, so as we pan in on the Lowry, note the steps. Obviously, there's the Earth Place houses are here now. They've gone. We pan in on the steps and note the wall in the in the just beyond the steps, and then beyond that is the church. Now I'll show you pictures of the church in a bit because that's the bit that's now been knocked down. But this is Irk Place. Now I remember Larry used a bit of, he played with perspective and things so he wanted, he would have wanted to try and capture more in the picture but as we go up the steps there's Angel Meadow now beyond those trees and just on the hill was St Michael's Church so I think this, we're standing here in the middle of a Lowry so Irk Place, where I'm standing that picture so far, I think I looked up on the on, on the internet and it sold for seven hundred and thirteen thousand pounds. Incredible, isn't it? And yet, if you look at the original place, it's quite nondescript, really. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Interesting story about this place. This is Angel Meadow. It used to be called 
or St Michael's Flags. Why was it called St Michael's Flags? Well because this whole area is a poor person's burial ground and I think it was the council that, that flagged the area over and the reason they flagged it over was because that the locals and I'll try and find some dates for you but the locals there were so many people buried here basically the locals were digging up the ground and selling it as peat compost whatever you want to call it because it grew plants very well apparently so for a while this whole area that is now green was that was flagged over and it was a strange place because although now it's like an urban park nobody came here i mean it, and it weren't that long ago that i came in it was still flagged over it was still st michael's flags um nobody sort of came here I, you know it was a proper lonely sort of neglected part of town and i think there's a picture that i can find on the internet of this place here and it's all flat and there was a set of goalposts here and you you can't see through the trees at the minute but there's a there's a court building up there um but yeah st michael's flags and it was flagged over because they wanted to stop the locals digging up the ground and selling it as peat and compost which was very innovative to be honest with you and then the wall i'll show you the wall the wall was built there to keep the bodies from washing down into the irk which is beyond those um, arches there now I know I always tell this story but I just love the idea that there's so many poor people buried here and the bodies were washing down here so they built the wall to stop them from all washing away anyway a little story for you so while we're here there's another Lowry let's go and see okay so I'm at the top of Aspen Lane and you can see if I turn around it stops abruptly with a brick wall but it would have joined the main road which is just up here We'll just go around this corner and I'll show you another Lowry. Now this church Lowry painted and sketched quite a bit. He did numerous sketches of it. But you'll notice this is the view that we had earlier. You see the wall and the park and the church in the background. Um, and then this final bit here. We, you, this is the junction now of a main road and Aspen Lane. And I'll just show you now where we are. So it's changed massively. I mean, this is almost a dual carriageway now down here. And then Aspen Lane is down there. But at the corner here where they met, Lowry must have been down there somewhere. Probably where that white van was just then. Okay, so to get that view, I think Lowry was stood here roughly so if we just pan the camera to the right there now the church was there behind those trees and Aspen Lane would have come up and met the main road here but I think that is the view that uh, that picture entails and there where you see the benches and these gravestones on the floor this is where St Michael stood the church, apparently one of the most ugliest churches in Manchester. And of course there's the original church, St Michael's and All Saints in Angel Meadow and there's another sketch of it there as well. Incidentally, apparently the bell from that got melted down and used to make um, a new bell that now is in a church called St. Gabriel's Church in Presswich. Another piece of information for you there. Anyway, that's the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I shall see you very soon. Um, if, by the way, if there's any corrections, feel free to correct me in a very supportive way in the, um, <laughs> in the, uh, uh, in the comments section. But feel free to, to correct me if you want to. I'm sure I've probably made some mistakes. Like I say, I'm just a, uh, an enthusiastic amateur. So if you know more than me, please uh, engage with me and tell me and tell me where I've gone wrong. But uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Take care.